Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Missile Dine Online and our playthrough, you guessed it, of The Legend of Dragoon. Now, you really shouldn't need to guess it, considering that you did click on the video. It's got a thumbnail. It looks like Dragon and Dra Legend of Dragoon, so it's not a very good guess. Anyways, uh, I wanted to show something real quick, because in the last episode, we went and got Kongol's Dragoon Spirit from Lohan. Uh, and I said that there was no way that you would know that that was even there, so you probably missed it. However, if you come to the pub in Danao, there is a Menentos here, uh, and thank you to the comments on the last video that actually were like, hey, by the way, you, you, sort of, there's actually this thing here. Uh, this Menentos guy. Oh boy, brothers, you have shiny stones. Did you buy those in Lohan? I saw a stone just like that at a stand in Lohan. Looks great. I want to have one too. Nice. Anyways, I just wanted to show that off. Let's go back to Flitz. Real quick, though, before we actually go into Flitz, even more important than the dialogue, the random dialogue in Danau of, of an item that we've already gotten, I want to show you what Shauna has equipped, because this is a funny story. She has the Bemusing Arrow. Finally, the weapon that is a rare chance to drop from the arrow shooter. Funny story, uh, I came on today to do this recording, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to farm for an hour for the hour shooters or arrow shooters. And if, uh, if the hour shooters, the arrow shooters, and if it doesn't drop, it's fine. I'm going to walk away and I'm not going to get it. It's fine. I'm just going to, I'm just going to, I'm just going to move on. The first battle I got into was an arrow shooter and it dropped a bemusing arrow immediately. It was, it was, ma it was majestic. Really. It was pure majesty. Anyways, we are officially finally heading in to the twin castle in Fletz. Let's head in. Let's, let's go. And you know that beat change means some stuff is about to go down. That sound, it can't be. It seems the ceremony for Princess Emile or Emily, I don't really know, is coming of age celebration has already started. We just found out that Princess Emile or Emily, you don't really know, is a fake. It doesn't necessarily mean that the moon dagger has already been passed on. Right. We have to get that. Let's go. That is the whole point of all of this. Remember, the moon items, whatever these are, are super important. Lloyd was trying to get it out of Albert. He got the moon gem from Albert. Uh, listen, I don't know. So, super important. Uh, all of the dialogue in this in this town right now, in Fletz, will change. But right now, it's all about the coming-of-age ceremony for Princess Emile or Emily. You don't really know. First things first, though, we want to head up here into the pub with the very talkative very talkative girl that you know what I'm talking about uh, so we can talk to her recently there are lots of bandit like knights and it seems that they have some kind of relationship with Princess Emile or Emily I don't know the Queen Fury is a royal ship that belongs to the Tiburoman royal family it's not a ship we can go for rides on oh interesting Queen Fury you say anyways the real reason we're here is to talk to Martel it's hard to find Stardust isn't it I guess I knew it though how about you oh we found 30 girl we found 30, so we'll give her five. Thanks, thanks a million. In return, take this. It's the rare thing I promised you, and she'll give us the Ward God Sash, an item that raises, it's an accessory actually, that raises all uh, SP by 50% when equipped, which is obviously super strong uh, and won't be going on to any of our main party because, um, folks, they, <laughs> they're already Dragoon level five at the moment. Uh, but it will be helpful for Kongol, who just got a new one, and everybody else who isn't Dragoon 5 yet. It'll be a very, very nice and easy to get their, uh, to get their stuff up. Now, there's nothing else really to be said here. There's no, uh, big scenes or anything. We'll see that this guy's taking a break, uh, from making the world green. We talked to this one. This is the, the woman that was, uh, pregnant, I believe. It looks that way. Uh, we don't want to go to the item shop. I don't or the weapon shop I don't think there's any real reason to do that right now But we do want to go to the item shop because there is some things that I would recommend stocking up on before we go too far That that was the jewelry shop. I do that a lot. This is the item shop All right, so let's go ahead and talk to this guy. We're gonna buy some trans lights uh, which were some of the items that we used earlier that were actually pretty useful. So uh, let's go ahead and buy Nah, is two of them gonna be enough? There, I bought three. We have three translite, three burnouts. We'll be just fine in this coming boss fight. I shouldn't even listen. I shouldn't even be that worried. I've just I uh, listen. I have like 
from when I was younger trying to do this fight and it not really working that's that's all that's that's where it comes from so you'll notice that there's no guard there the ceremony will be held soon but I heard it is being delayed again for one of Princess Emile's selfish reasons interesting Princess Emile is acting up as ever I wish the princess would return to her original gentle self in time for the ceremony I heard the coming of age ceremony for Princess Emile is gonna be held soon yeah that's what I've been hearing too what's up here Ah, I don't think I've ever shown you guys this, but it's a nice little view. We can see the Aquaria, a coral reef. Oh, that's all I can see. But also, more importantly, you can see uh, the twin castle there. And it looks like something docked behind it. Interesting. I don't know what that is. Let's go ahead and take advantage of there not being a guard here. And let's head in to the twi 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 twin castle in Flets. The t t t twin. I don't, well, don't, don't ask. Why is it not guarded? Uh-oh. Bad people coming in without permission. Ugh. Just kidding. <laughs> I excuse you because today is such a happy day. When did it start? Oh, a moment ago. But just asking doesn't mean you have an invitation. It's so packed you couldn't fit a penny in. Look. <laughs> oh, what a good day. She suddenly got a lot of hanger-ons. There are so many new faces I've never seen before, and according to rumor, they used to be bandits. <laughs> See? Bad attitude, right? They cannot call themselves knights, but nobody can say anything because it's Princess Emile or Emily. I don't really know. Ah, don't tell anybody about this, okay? And I'll let you in. Shh, keep it a secret, buddy. Can I leave? You couldn't attend the coming-of-age ceremony, right? So... That's it? Like you're just gonna you're just gonna you're just gonna lock me in here? So if we try to go in. Who the hell are you? They're busy with an important ceremony. Don't even think about bothering them. They are not decent knights. Oh hey. <laughs> Can't you see our armor? We are the authentic great knights of Tiberoa. Is Princess Emile in there? Or Emily? Well, you can't go in there. It's not a place for commoners like you, because it's the birthday of our princess. Do you really think you can get away with making a scene like that? It's special today. Uh, are you gonna make an enemy of all of Tiberoa? Seems like bluffing is not working. Hm. Can you send a message to Princess Lisa? She's not here, and it's the birthday of her own sis. I guess she's keeping herself cooped up in her room. Hmm. I'll be back. Then I'm gonna get past you. You. You vile animals! Oh, we can't go in there either. You cannot eat until it's ready. Uh, so sorry. So sorry. So sorry. So sorry. Anyways, we want to go this way. If we try to talk to this guy, it won't make any difference. No matter how many times you come back. There's important ceremony stuff going on in there. Just go away. Alright. What about in here? Can I go in here or is somebody gonna yell at me? I just want to explore a little, guys. Oh, this is the this is the training room, and the knights assigned as guards for the ceremony are all so vulgar. Hmm. Yeah, agreed. And ugly. They look ugly. What about in here? There's no work for those of us knights who were here from the start. Feels like something's really wrong. Oh yeah, I mean, cannot carry any more. I There's also items in here that I missed. Did I miss these the first couple times? I can't. G guys. What do we got here? A moon serenade? And a sun rhapsody. Nice. I actually used a sun. Uh, I used. It, it doesn't It doesn't matter. Anyways, uh, I missed those items apparently the first time I came in here. Probably because I was like, you know, it's not missable. It's not. Either way. I don't know why. I don't, uh, you know, it's fine. Look at this. Still can't get. I just want to know how many beds are in this room. Anyways. <laughs> the real. The real. <laughs> don't. It's a viewer, don't judge me. All right, we want to go this way. Uh, so this is kind of like a sneaky stealth se section, uh, which we haven't really done anything similar to this since, geez, I would say probably uh, Helena. Anyways, we want these guys to come this way. They're both going to come, and then they're both going to turn, and we're going to run. And then we're going to go in here. Now, if you haven't grabbed that stardust that's in this room yet, you can do that now, and then boom, we run. And then we want to wait for this guy to turn around. Perfect. Easy peasy stealth arenies. That, 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 I said, listen, I said what I said. <laughs> so we can head up here. 
This is Princess Lisa's room. We need to we need to see if Princess Lisa can help us here. I cannot let those bandit-like guys contaminate Princess Lisa's room. So this is a good night. Good. This is a good night. Good night. I have been waiting for you, everyone. I am ready. Please tell me the truth. The Princess Emile or Emily, I don't really know, attending the ceremony is a fake. A woman who is helping the bandits made the switch a half year ago. The star of Princess Lisa has shown the truth. Oh, thank God. It is impossible for my sister Emile to have such an attitude. It is Emile, by the way. Now, where is my true sister Emile? It seems she is confined somewhere in this castle. Confined? Somewhere in here? It was the last words of a dying man. We can trust him. It all started out at the time of a horseback ride a half year ago. By taking advantage of the confusion, the mysterious woman switched herself with Princess Emile and took over Tiberoa with the cooperation of bandits. It's an amazing plot. The finale was to be the coming of age ceremony where the moon dagger would be passed down. Princess Lisa, we have to find Princess Emile or we cannot stop the ceremony. Is it possible to use astrology to find Princess Emile? Let me try. That's not how astrology works. All the stars are refusing to tell their story, as if a mist is covering the night sky. Then we just have to search every nook and cranny of this castle! Let me come with you. When I am with you, you may be able to avoid some trouble. <laughs> She's wrong. Anyways, now we want to head all the way back down. There's no reason that... It's, but we're still going to try... We're still going to try to uh, to potentially stealth this. Although it might be faster just to get caught. I'm not actually sure. It doesn't matter because we do have Princess Lisa with us. So they're not they're not going to yell at us or anything. Uh, well, they will. They'll be like, hey, what are you doing? Who are you? And then he's going to come over. He's going to be like, oh, God. And then, and then she's going to come out. Oops, Princess Lisa. You're supposed to be six. Princess Lisa, you must stay and rest in your room. Otherwise, we'll be yelled at by Princess Meal. Hey, take them to their rooms. So we we go all back here. So that's it. Not it's not it's not that big of a deal. So we'll go down. We just gotta we just gotta try to restealth this. I'm gonna go in here and boop. Perfect. So as long as you're in this doorway, this guy can't see you. Uh, but we don't wanna do we don't wanna leave just yet because the other guy will come. Now we wanna wait for these guys to do the, what they did this the first time that we came through, where they're both like they both like kind of walk towards each other. Uh, which should be this one right here. They're both going to walk towards each other. As soon as we can get past this guy, we need to make a run for it. Right now. Perfect. Perfect. Very tight timing, actually, on that one. Just returning. And then what we want to do is... Oops. Uh, Princess Lisa, are you already feeling better? <laughs> uh, shall I go in? Uh, we, we cannot, uh, uh, why is that? Uh, we were told that nobody, uh, not even Princess Lisa, can come in till the moon dagger is passed on. Uh, um, uh, but, uh, okay, bye. Uh, oh, God, that was so close. Anyways, uh, we want to go to this side, to the other castle, in the twin castle in Fletz. I love how there's a twin castle in Fletz, uh, for what is essentially twins. Um, anyways, that probably was, was my time to go, was, was when I, when I was talking. Uh, anyways, we're gonna do the same thing on this side. We're gonna wait for them to to cross here Which should be on the further furthest guys uh, this one right here and Bye perfect and then we'll go into here same thing as before very easy. This part is super easy, right? Same exact thing wait for this guy to look away perfect easy peasy guys we did it the stealth section is done. It's actually it's actually not nearly as hard as, as I remember when I was a kid, let me tell you. When I was a kid, I struggled with that for so long. Uh, probably because I was dumb and couldn't recognize patterns. 
<laughs> if you want to talk to Princess Emil, go to the Chamber of the Sun. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, Princess, Princess Lisa, how are you feeling? I feel much better. I have to go into my sister Emil's room. Can I come in? It's far away from the bottom of the tower. Screams won't be heard down there. Why don't we settle this here? Uh, uh, no, no, you just, damn it, you guys just go in the room, we're gonna have a fight. Shall we go? If the real sister Emil, if the real sister Emil is in this castle, she must be somewhere in this room. It is awful. Somebody looted the place. No, that's just how she lives. That makes this room even more suspicious. We might find something here to help us find Princess Emile. Kongle, go outside. Watch. Kongle's too big for this room. Poor guy. I feel sorry for him. I'm gonna wait with Kongle. I'm going too. There are too many people in this room. <laughs> okay. Weird. Let's split up and search. All right, so we have control of Dart, so we can talk to everybody if we want. Again, it's something to do with the moon. The words of Emperor Dole. I might be able to better understand the words, find the girl by the time the moon that never sets waxes. That's the girl. Hmm. We have to hurry up or a national treasure of Tiberoa will be lost. There's nothing that you can like click on or anything around here. There's no items or anything. Um, and you don't necessarily need to talk to everybody. I'm just doing it because it's fun. Uh, there should be some trace in here. Also, her room looks like like my room all the time. Just wine bottles everywhere. No, I'm just kidding. But, ser but seriously, uh, I feel something in this room. Why, why aren't you searching then? Anyways, let's examine the painting because that's where we needed to go the whole time. It is a portrait of Princess Emile. Wow. Um, what was that noise? Uh, there's nobody here. But where did they go? Excuse? Where are we? What on earth has happened? Oh, I see what happened. Yeah, acid. Acid happened. Oh, no, never mind. It seems a magical space was created in the painting. It seems peculiar. Is this magic? <laughs> Insert, is this meme here? <laughs> no, Dart, this isn't magic. We are in the painting! Heschel, they must be talking about this painting! Don't touch the painting! It seems to be linked to the world over here. I got it. Hmm. And look who it is, my friends! Look! Emil! Sister Emil! It is too dangerous to go. Wait. Oh. She is Princess Emil. It is linked with a different dimension. It's too dangerous to jump over. Hmm. She is right in front of us. How can we? All right, so if we talk to Shayna, she's like, I got it. We can help her if we turn ourselves into dragoons. Wait, 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 that's dangerous. Are you all right? It's hard to transform myself into a dragoon unless it is during battle. Besides, this magic is rejecting the dragoons. Why does it sound like an angry typewriter, this entire room? What should we do? Uh, well, we can talk to more people if we want. Why won't, don't you wake up? Well, what is she gonna do? Sister Emil, what is she gonna do? Like, jump over and be like, hi guys. Princess Emil, please wake up. Anyways, uh, the thing that we actually wanna do is we wanna talk to this, like, little red, red blob of light. Dart, is this magic? We can cross now. Look at a little, a little magic bridge. This part reminds me of Final Fantasy X, uh, Sanerkin for some reason. Like the, the Unaleska area. Anyways, Princess Emil! Sister. Sister, Sister Emil, please wake up. I cannot wake her. Let me do it. Princess Emil, wake up, wake up at once. There's something irrevocable will happen to the Kajimaroma. Uh, uh, oh, Emil, Albert, nice job, dude. You woke her up, no problem. A little, a little, a little, came out a little strong there, but. Lisa, and you, where am I? You have been sleeping for the past six months since we went for a horseback ride, sister. 
A half year? I was sleeping. The half year since the horseback ride. <gasps> what about the coming of age ceremony? Yes, what about the moon dagger? It's about to be passed on to another, another person. Can you explain that to me? About this other person and you? <laughs> yeah, because you're a little confused and I don't blame you. It seems I've troubled you a lot due to my absence and also my name. It is a meal though. Let us go to the Chamber of the Sun. We have to let people know the truth. We have officially rescued the princess of the Twin Castle in Fletz. So let's head down. All right, baby. Now, who cares about bandits, right? Who cares? We got both of the princesses. They know the jig is up. Who are you? Whoa! Uh-oh. A uh, princess a meal? Uh, why are you here? Thank you for your work. My coming-of-age ceremony is still being held in the Chamber of the Sun, isn't it? Uh, yes. Yes, your highness. Um... Oh, no. <laughs> How graceful. There is no comparison with the fake one. Hey! There's no time for this! Our plan's not working anymore! We gotta run! There's no more bandits here, my friends. And you can go look around. If you miss anything, you can go. You can go do whatever. Now, you can actually also, uh, if you if you have if you haven't yet, you can you can leave. Uh, you can leave the castle. There's no you don't have to you don't have to stay. Um, you're not locked here anymore. Just just as a heads up. Of course, now there's no more guards, but there is a guard right here. Hey. Oops. It's. Princess uh, uh, Amir. Did I make it in time for the ceremony? Huh, yeah, 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 you did. Um, oh, we gotta go, dude. This is not good. Shall we go? Uh, no, uh, no. I just, uh, listen, I just want to point out, if we talk to this guy, Princess Emil, why are you here? I thought you were in the middle of your coming of age ceremony. Hmm, no, my ceremony has not started yet. Then the Princess Emil in the chamber is not... You are right. I am the true Princess Emil. I'm about to reveal everything. Oh, shit! I mean, excuse my language, Princess. I can't get up. I'm just so overcome with happiness. Oh, you are exaggerating. Shall we, Dart? I just think that scene's cute with the guard. I still can't get up! Now, use this moment as your last chance to go back into town, rest at the end, do whatever you gotta do. Also, I highly recommend saving your game here. Super important because we have a very, very difficult boss fight as soon as we head into the Chamber of the Sun. This is a fight that cost me, uh, uh, well, I stopped playing the game because I couldn't beat this part. Because I had a party of Kongol uh, and Albert, which are very, very slow. And, uh, and honestly could not beat this boss. It is one of the fastest uh, people that we have faced so far in the entire game. But I think in this part, we are going to do just fine. In fact, to the point where I... Get this, I'm going to replace Hatchel with Miss Miru. What? So we're going into a party with our two weakest, you say, Cory? With, with, with Shauna and Miru? Oh, yes we are. You've been filled with 20 years of experience since you came into this world. You have reached the age that deserves the succession of the Moon Dagger as an heir to the throne of Tiberoa. Never forget the blessings of the sun, moon, and stars. Anybody? Are there any objections? I assume this silence to be the approval of the success. Wait! What? I have an objection to the succession. Hmm. Oh my god. There are two Emils. The Moon Dagger! What is going on? King Zor, that girl's a fake. I have been put into a sleep for the past half year. During that time, it seems this person was making a variety of social missteps. Father, that woman was going to take over Tiberoa by forming a conspiracy with the Garage Gang. Oh my god. Ha! 
I guess you found out about everything. Don't you think it's too late? I got this in my hand. Look around yourself. Hmm. <laughs> you think I'm cornered, huh? Who are you? Uh, I guess I cannot run in this stuffy dress. <coughs> this will be a treat. Let me show you my true self. Welcome, my friends. Say hello to your new friend, Linus. Lennis? Linus. Surprise, huh? This is the true self of Miss Linus. Princess Emile, please leave the room with the king and Princess Lisa. Huh. The Garage gang has fallen apart. Give us the moon dagger. The only chance you have is to give up. A girl in love doesn't know the meaning of the words give up. I have managed to get this for my love. I won't give this up so easily. I'm sorry, but you don't have time to be in love anymore because you will die here. Interesting. Why don't you try? And here we go, the battle against Linus, one of the fastest enemies in the entire game and actually something that stopped me from beating it when I was a kid because I was convinced Albert and Kongo were the right party and they are not. They're way too slow. So we have Shayna, Dart, and Miru against, who is this? What the heck is on her back? Linus, who seems to be floating and has, I don't know, light beams out of her out of her back? I don't know. Anyway, she's going to get the first hit on us with a physical attack, which is too bad because that's going to do a lot of damage to the ladies here uh, who actually both have legend cast equipped right now. Miru also has a therapy ring that I went and equipped on her real quick, but we are going to use Miru to go ahead and throw out a speed up over on Shauna. Now, another thing that's really important here is I actually want Dart to, yet again, I want him to fall unconscious in this battle because he is not really necessary uh, to get XP right now because he's in so many random battles. But I do want to show how much damage he does to Linus because she is a water elemental type. Uh, so that means that his, uh, his attack there is going to do so much damage because, of course, we're using the Heat Blade, which is fire-based. So I just thought I would point that out. Now, anytime that it's Shauna's turn, she is actually going to be using... We're going to start off uh, using the trans lights that we bought earlier because we want to... Basically, we want to save our hardest hitting stuff for once she hits 50% health. That's going to be the, the, the time to shine. 50% health, she's going to start doing a lot of damage. She has 3,400 health, so this isn't actually going to be that long of a fight. Shauna got two turns in a row, so we're going to use another trans light on her here. Hopefully we can get some pretty high percentage modifier here. 220% for another 352 damage. Now you could also transform into a Dragoon as Dart, which is obviously going to do a tremendous amount of damage to Linus. However, she does enrage whenever that happens. And uh, you don't really want that to occur because everybody that isn't a Dragoon is gonna be in a lot of pain. Uh, so she'll attack even faster than she's already doing. And also, Dart will take less damage while he's in a Dragoon, even though he could wrap the fight up really quickly. And again, I want him to fall unconscious because I don't want him to get the experience. I want everybody else to get it. Here we go. Her first magic attack. Watch how little damage this actually does to the ladies in the party. But it does tremendous damage to Dart. <laughs> okay, I didn't... <laughs> what the heck was that attack? Dart, that's called magic. Uh, you've been... Have, have you been in the game you've been playing? Like, you... Hello? All right, we're going to use Shada to use another translate here. And she is in the yellow, so she's going to be attacking a little bit more frequently. Of course, she's going to use a physical attack here, which is fine because I actually just guarded with Shauna and Miru. Now she's going to use her Fatal Blizzard, which will hit everybody in the party. Again, Shauna and Miru are going to take no damage from this. Luckily, Dart, though, will take a ton. Perfect! She is using the Spear Frost on Dart, which means he's going to be taken out of the fight, which means we can wrap it up with 
Miru, and Shauna. All right, so we are going to use a burnout for Miru and a burnout for Shauna, and that should be enough to put an end to Linus's uh, uh, terror? Deception? Deception works. 461 damage with that burnout out of Miru. As Shauna laughs off that magic attack, like no big deal, dude. See, you can see how fast she's actually attacking now. But we'll have the last word with another burnout. This was why I farmed them out because they are so, so incredibly strong in this fight. Now, if you didn't want Dart to die, you could just change to Dragoon and a final burst would pretty much seal the deal. But burnout, super, super strong. And we are able to finish off Linus, the fastest boss that we fought so far. One that can give you a lot of trouble. Now, Dart is level 20. I want to take a moment just to say Dart is level 21. At level 22, he learns his new addition, which is Madness Hero. Uh, so if you really, really wanted to push him that 500 experience or so that he needs that I, curr that I currently need to get that, uh, you could. However, I think it's just a better opportunity to take that and, and kind of uh, exploit the experience glitch that's in this game um, because everyone is going to get a ton more XP because Dart is dead. So this 6,000 is going to be divided much better. Shauna, in fact, is going to get two levels from that. Miru, I believe, as well. And she'll learn Hammer Spin. Uh, Rose will level up. Hatchel will level up. Kongo will level up. If Dart was alive right now, only Kongo in the reserves would level up. And uh, ever, Ashana would have only gotten one level and Dart would have only gotten one level, but he would have learned Madness Hero. So it's just something that I wanted to point out uh, in case that's what you, you want to do. You're not bad, I guess. Give us the Moon Dagger. Don't waste your time on this meaningless battle. Garage is already dead. Garage? I didn't care about that man from the beginning. I told you. I need the moon dagger for my love. Admit your defeat. There's no way to escape. No way to escape, huh? Hey, you over there. What do you think of that? Hmm. Whatever. See for yourself. Is there no way to escape? <laughs> Bye now. Wait. Oh no. She's a wingly? The species that dominated the bygone worlds. She's a survivor. A wingly, you say? People of magic who run across the sky with wings. Was she here to take it back from humans? Hmm. The moon items were given to humans by the winglies, of course. You are the king of Sergio, Albert. Why did you take such a risk? It might be self-gratification. However, I would like to settle my friend's score with my own hands. We are pursuing a man who manipulated the war with Sergio from behind the scenes. My friend was killed by that man. At the same time, the moon gem which belonged to Sergio was taken away. We have different reasons. However, we are all linked to that man, and here we are. You said the moon gem. It is a legacy of the Winglies, isn't it? Could you please tell us about the Moon Dagger, Your Majesty? It was after the Dragon Campaign. Humans defeated the Winglies and built Sergio, Tiboroa, and Milisezu. They say the few surviving Winglies sent a divine object of the moon as a proof of peace to the three countries. That's all I know about the legend. We have the same legend in my country. What is dangerous is that we humans don't know what the divine moon objects are for. You mean the Winglies know everything and form this entire conspiracy? Father, we have to take the moon dagger back. Before the stars that have beheld Tiboroa are lost in a shadow. It seems that girl of the Winglies got away to Elisa Bay. Now it's time for an appearance by Commodore Pooler. 
I will send the most powerful warship that Tiberoa has, the Queen Fury. Have Commodore Pooler pursue her. Commodore Pooler, pursue her. Of course, you are more than welcome to be on the boat. I appreciate it, Your Majesty. It was the first time I've seen a Wingly, but they seem to be beyond our power, so that we might need your help. Please, take care of yourselves. <laughs> Especially you, Albert. I love you. You're so handsome, and your hair is so long and fragrant. There we go, team. Who would have thought Winglies, the legendary species, were alive in this day and age? Even the king couldn't tell. It wasn't because of my lack of trying. The Queen Fury is the only seal boat in this country. It can even block the sea dragon's attacks. It's anchored in Danao now. Dao Danao now. Go talk to Pooler, who will pursue her. It has been 20 years that I've served Princess Mio, and this was the most happy day of my life. Realizing that the monster you thought she was wasn't real? Yeah, that's pretty helpful. My friends, the castle is back to normal. Winglies are a species from a legend. I couldn't imagine they really existed. Oh, but they do. Talk to everybody here. I saw Princess Lisa act happy for the first time in six months. We are going to save and then we're going to explore the rest of the castle to see if anything has happened in the next episode. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the Legend of Dragoon right here on Missile Dine Online. If you did, uh, throw the video uh, a thumbs up uh, over below the, below the video. Uh, it helps me quite a bit. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet, that also certainly helps me. And also, I stream every Thursday, Friday, Saturday over on twitch.tv slash Online. And new videos come out right here on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern. Thank you guys again for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I sincerely appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed. And remember, never give up, never surrender to the Winglies. I, I, awesome. <laughs>